everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're doing another highly requested video so a lot of you guys asked how do i make my candles what's the process so today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can make luxury iridescent candles in these nice cute vases at home it's literally simple steps there's nothing hard as long as you follow my steps to a t you guys will be fine um and I'll give these guys some tips and tricks throughout the video as well. So as you can see back here, I have my layout. We were gonna use my Presto pot, but I don't know what's going on with my plug. It's not plugging in. I may have to get a new one. So I'm just show, I'm just, I just left it out to show you guys something that I use. I usually put a whole bunch of wax in here, so especially when I'm making large batches of candles. Um, but like I said, we can't get it on. So I got my, little pan here that I put my wax in and I stir my um, fragrance oils in and we're gonna do a double boiler method today um, we also got some candle wicks some tabs I already got my blend of oil that I'm using for this particular candle this is gonna be my lucky charm candle that I have on my site my candles do have crystals on them but this doesn't have to be specific to crystal candles you can follow this recipe for just a simple candle that you just want to burn at home. Everything that I do discuss in this video will be linked in the description box down below. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the beginning steps of what you want to take in order for you to make a luxury candle at home. Or if you're wanting to start a candle business, you can follow these steps as well. Okay, so let's get started. All right, guys. So we are about to start getting our wax measured out so usually for these iridescent uh, vessels that i'm using for this um make see which is where i purchase them if you haven't checked out my vendor supply video you want to check it out i'll link it down below um usually they recommend 12 ounces of candle wax for each vessel i'm going to measure out 11 ounces and then i'm going to have one ounce of fragrance fragrance oil that I'm going to mix into that wax. So my wax of choice, which is my favorite to use, is my coconut apricot cream from Hive and Honey. Uh, I prefer this wax. It burns clean. It's paraben-free, toxin-free, and I just like the texture and the consistency of it. And I've tested out other wax, but this by far has been my favorite. Where? We're gonna measure measure out our wax. Um, I'm gonna use my spatula here. This is the, the same spatula that I'm gonna be using to incorporate my fragrance oil. So let me just slice it. So as you guys can see, it literally melts like butter. I mean, not melts like butter, but the spatula goes through it like butter. It's It's a pretty smooth wax, which is why we're where we call it a luxury candle because everything about it is just a luxury. The look of the vessel, the candle wax that we're using. All right, so we got 5.2 ounces so far. All right, just need a little bit more. Okay, that was a little bit too much. Just a little bit more. We got 10.9 ounces. No, I think this is gonna be too big actually. 11.4. We'll make that work. And also recommend wearing gloves while you're doing this. Um so we're gonna add some water to our pot so we can get the double boiler going and get the wax melting. So we want to get the wax to 200 degrees Fahrenheit for our pot throw for when we throw our fragrance oil in and incorporate it. So let's go ahead and get that process going and then we're going to go on to the next step. All right, so the next step that we're going to do while that's on the double boiler, we are gonna be checking the temperature of the wax 
because we want to make sure once it melts down it's at that 200 degrees so we can add in our fragrance oil i'm going to prepare my vessel for the wax so we're also going to put in our wicks i've already added my wicks to the tab this is usually what i do they come on strips like this i'll tear off the top add the wick tear it off but i want to clean out the vessel with some alcohol first before i stick those wicks in there make sure you get it as dry as possible inside let it dry out completely and i wanted to add these are not my usual vessels that i use um they sent me the wrong vessels in my order so i'm just working working with what i have because i really wanted to get this video out for you guys but i do have a shipment on ves of vessels that are on the way i usually use the white iridescent vessels these are the i think cloud iridescent cloud vessels um so yeah let me put that down and then they also sent me the wrong lids i do use the wood lids but i use the thicker wood but this is fine this will do this still looks just as nice and then let me make sure all right so it's it's dry so we're gonna get our wicks you want to make sure that you don't put the wicks too close to the rim of the vessel so you want to get them centered but not too close together as centered as but not too close together as possible all right so we got one in as you can see and i usually put two because for me i feel like it burns better with two versus one so let's get the other vessel in the other wick in so we got that in and this is pretty much ready for when it's time for us to add our wax and we're going to put this to the side and then i also wanted to add these i got from makesy makesy pretty much is a one-stop shop when it comes to candle supplies um and then i also like i said shop at candle signs um virginia candle supply again if you want to have or want a link to all of my vendors i would recommend checking out my um vendors video for the list of everyone that i shop with for my business and then my wicks i get from candle science these are the cd4 wicks and i got the 100 pieces of wicks for i think nine dollars and change and this is the oil the fragrance oil we'll be using it already comes ready made um this is a popular fragrance on my site so i'm trying to get that restocked so we can get it updated on the site um makesy offers sample kits and they come in little one ounce bottles like this that you can get and purchase so you can smell all the fragrances and see which blends you like before purchasing the big bottle so that's what i did when i initially was finding different fragrances for new candles on my site i got the sample kit smelt them pretty much finalized on which fragrance i was happy with and then i ordered the bigger bottle um and i think it was like four bucks for one of these but if you get the kit i think the kit with the i i think it came with like eight of them it was 25 dollars. i think it was 25 but i'll link everything down below so typically in normal fashion i would be measuring out my fragrance oil um so like i said we're gonna do a 10 percent mix of fragrance oil in this um candle so that's gonna be pretty much one ounce so i'm not going to measure it out because i have this here that they sent me in one of my orders it's a free um it was a free gift for my per with my purchase this is exactly one ounce so i'm just gonna dump this in and stir it in and that's that but typically like i said i'll be making bigger batches but we're not doing that tonight so yeah let's go ahead and let's check on our wax and see how it's doing with the melting down process So our candle wax has melted. We have it at 200 degrees and we are going to pour our fragrance oil in. 
and I'm gonna set a timer. So I have this timer here. You wanna incorporate it or mix it for at least two minutes. Two minutes is the, the main rule of thumb for this. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna just stir and fold like that. Fold that fragrance oil in because obviously this is important when it comes to how strong the scent is of the candle when it burns. So you wanna make sure you're folding that into that candle wax. I need to get my clips. I have these I usually use these clips from IKEA, but I have the longer ones, so don't mind the contraption I just created. They I'll link them down below. When I find them, I'll show them to you guys. But they have the two small ones, they have the smaller ones and then they have the really long ones. I don't know what I did with mine, so I will have to find them and then link them down below. Um, so pretty much you can let it cool like this and when it starts to get soft and you see it started to harden at the top you can just center your wicks where you want them or you can just secure it from now until it cures so let's go ahead and secure this end first secure this end trim the wick down um, I'm gonna leave it at this length 
because um, obviously you want to always trim your wicks before you light your candle. Um, I usually put the sticker underneath because of course, you know, I sell my candles so you want to take the precaution. So the sticker usually goes on the bottom of the candle and it pretty much says always burn candle within sight and away from drafts and things that can catch fire. Keep away from children and pets. Trim your wicks to 3 sixteenths or 5 millimeters before lighting every time. It also helps with getting a longer burn out of your candle and getting a cleaner burn. So guys, make sure you trim your wicks. The minute you get your candles, trim them down. Do not burn for longer than four hours and stop burning when half, a half of unmelted wax remains. Okay, I put the sticker on there, but for extra precaution, I put this card in there as well. I made this, no, I'm lying, I did not make this card. I ordered a template on Etsy. I'll find the vendor that makes these and I will link her down below. And she sent me the template and I customized it to my brand Skinovation. So you see my company name up there and it just pretty much has some cute instructions, again, reiterating how to properly take care of your candle so you can get as much you know use out of your candle as, as possible. So again, trimming your wicks, burning time, keeping away from children, and never leave it unattended while burning. Um, and then also, a cute little note at the bottom. Made with love and especially for you. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, I add that to the box. Then I have my labels. Um, I have a video detailing how I made my labels. Uh, you guys can check that out if you want to see an in-depth of how I'm in upside down an in-depth of video of how I go about making my labels so as you can see it has a candle name uh, this is a part of my healing candle collection because obviously it has the crystals on it and the crystals have some kind of benefit to it depending on the candle and what you're going on so I call this a lucky charm and you guys will see why I called it that in a moment but we are gonna go ahead and get started on topping off the candle with the crystals. I, like I said, this is not a required step. I just know that this is going to be sold and I'm marketing it as crystal candles on my site. So that's why I'm adding it. But again, this is for the people that wanna learn how to make candles, don't know where to start, don't know the approach to take and just want some guidance or you know a beginner friendly video that can just get them on the right path. So let's go ahead and get our crystals out and we're gonna start chopping it off. the finished product here is my 
candle, my Lucky Charm candle with the beautiful luxurious label and the luxurious vessel from Macy.com. Got my stickers on the bottom, like I said. Um, they have like a little slot that's like perfectly made to fit the stickers, so we made sure we added that on there. And then, this is my Lucky Charm candle here. Um, and then I have resin flowers in here. I get these from Michaels. I don't remember what section they're usually in, but this is what they look like. These are dried hydrangeas, if that's how you say it. Excuse me if I'm butchering it. Um, and I paid like $4 and change for this whole pack here. Lasted me, has lasted me a while. So I don't recommend putting real flowers in your candles. I've heard that it's not a good idea. I've never tried it, but I'm just gonna pass on what I've learned on my journey of making candles. So I've stuck to these resin uh, dried flowers. I have a whole bag filled with different kinds, but this is what I chose to go with for this one. Okay, so usually um, with the crystals, if if any of you that are watching this may be interested in purchasing this candle, um, I recommend just taking the crystal out the, at, once you start lighting and the candle is soft enough. Um, you can remove them or before even lighting them, you can remove them and keep them in your person. Make sure you cleanse them with your sage and all that good stuff. Um, but like I said, you can also make this at home. If you're looking to start up a candle business, you can also try this recipe out on your own. But yeah, I wanted to sit down and just touch um, a little bit more on other topics of candle making um, so that you guys just... I, I try, I'm trying to make sure that I give as much detail as possible. I want to be as informative as I can. So that's that. I'm going to put this down. I recommend to let your candle cure for at least 48 hours. But I personally, know, I have noticed over time that the longer that I let them cure for, the stronger the scent is. And I usually like to cover it up with, my, with the lid while it's curing. So... Um, you can let it cure for two weeks before you start selling them or before you start burning them. It's up to you, but at least a minimum of 48 hours. If you put the lid on, it just keeps that, that, that scent and even more that fragrance in the candle. So highly recommend that. And I also wanted to show you guys something that I didn't show you earlier, which is this contraption here. So usually when I'm making a huge batch of candles and I have my pitcher that I showed you guys earlier filled up, I'll just pour some in here. It's blocked up unless I press the release here and I can just bounce from candle to candle and, and just fill it up. So usually I don't measure, I don't use a scale when I'm making a big batch because at this point I've made them so much I can eyeball the candle and how much, okay, this is this looks like the eleven ounce the tw the eleven the twelve ounces that needs to be in here, um, but I kind of wanted to, I wanted to break it down, which is why I was precise in measuring everything earlier in the video. But I got this off of Amazon. I think I paid twelve bucks for it, and then I have Prime, so I didn't pay for the shipping. Um, got it within a couple of days, and. I don't think there was anything else that I didn't miss out. Everything else that I used, you guys saw, that I typically use in my candle making process, you guys saw earlier on in the video. As I stated, I will link everything that I use down below. All right, so let's go down the checklist. You found a vessel you like, makesy.com. Like I said, if you're looking for a luxury, you're on that soft life, you know, you want to get a nice vibe going in your home, makesy.com is where you want to go. They have beautiful vessels. Um, they have everything you need for candle making. Fra um, great fragrances, blends, love them. Um, and like I said, anything makes the, I will link that I use in the video that I will link down below. Then you wanna make sure you pick your wick. So with the wick, you can test it out. The good thing with these vessels, they're very sturdy, very strong vessels. I have not had any issues with them. I've never had a vessel break on me. I rebuke it. <laughs> um, and you can reuse these over and over again because I have a vessel in my bathroom. I, I've used it, I think, twice already. 
um, because I like to play around with different scents in it, like especially when I'm in the process of getting ready to launch a new candle. I like to just recycle it, make another candle and add a different scent in there. So you can reuse those. Your candle runs out, you wanna make another one, you wanna have a different scent, use the same vessel and make it again. Now, Mixie is on the pricier side, but they're they're worth the money. I highly recommend it. It's a good investment. I have had no issues with them. Great customer service. And yeah, that's that. The next thing you want to do is your fragrance oil. Make sure you're measuring carefully because you don't want to have too much um, fragrance oil in the candle. Okay, so another thing, another thing, important thing to factor in is your fragrance. You don't want to put too much fragrance in your candle or else it will make your wick clog, which will cause your candle to have a weak burn because there's too much fragrance. And it's funny because you may think, oh, I, the more fragrance, the more stronger it's gonna smell. That's not the case. Um, you put too much, it's gonna affect, it's gonna clog that wick and then it's not gonna, the fragrance is not gonna be as strong as you want it to be. So as you saw me do earlier, the vessel, According to Macy, their vessels, 12 ounces between the, the candle wax and the fragrance. I did 11 ounces of my coconut apricot cream wax, and then I did that one ounce of the fragrance oil. Make sure you stir that in for two minutes, a minimum of two minutes, so that you get all that fragrance oil incorporated into the candle wax because that's very important too. You don't wanna just dump it and stir it for 30 seconds and pour it in. You wanna make sure you take your time and fold that fragrance oil into that candle wax because that also plays a part in the the, the scent that you want to get from that candle that long lasting scent that just makes your whole home smell beautiful and lovely and like i said soft life <laughs> soft life all the way um what else can i go over tools self-explanatory you can get tools from macy you can get tools from amazon um you will want to let it cure again minimum 48 hours and that's about that i haven't had any complaints with my candles thank god um everyone absolutely loves them so that's why i'm waiting for a shipment because i ended up having to do pre-orders because they were completely sold out so i'm waiting for macy to deliver my my unit that i bought with all of my new vessels to replenish so what I did was I implemented a pre-order and that's another thing you guys could do too. If you want to start making a profit off of the candles now, you can even do a pre-order and instead of pre like pre-purchasing all the vessels and having them on hand, you could you could start off slow and say, "Okay, I had 8 people that are wanting to purchase this candle from me now. You just purchase the 8 vessels." It's cheaper if you buy in bulk, but we all have to start somewhere. So if you have to start off by doing a pre-order and you're only able to afford to buy a certain amount of time that is totally understandable at least you're starting and that i think that's what a lot of us I, a lot of us don't realize that the the hardest thing to do is start is to launch um it takes a lot of a, a time a lot of just work but it is it's going to be well worth it because it just feels so good to say I'm a business owner, this is mine. And granted, it's not meant for everyone, but I know, I've, I've known all my life that I've wanted to be an entrepreneur, which is why I'm so passionate about what I do. Anyways, enough of the motivational speech. <laughs> Back to the candle making. Um, that's about that with the whole candle making process. But if you guys do have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And maybe later on as I learn, because we're, we never stop learning, as I learn more you know, tips and tricks with candle making, I'll make a more updated video. And if there's any other fellow candle makers watching this, please leave your advice down below in the comment section because we all can help each other out. We all can learn from one another and just continue to uplift each other. Now, if you guys are interested in purchasing this candle and you wanna support, the link to my website will be in the description down below. If you use code YouTube15, it will take 15% off of your entire purchase. Uh, the candle, again, comes with the instruction cards. It usually comes with a crystal card explaining uh, an in-depth meaning of the crystal and the benefits and healing properties of that crystal. And also, you can see all that information on the site before purchasing as well. I also have body butters, bar soaps. 
um, crystal bracelets, incense. Um, I have crystal body butters, uh, body butters that have the crystal, um, tumbled crystals inside. So yeah, I have a whole array of stuff. Check out the site if you're interested and let me know what you guys want to see me make next. So the last and final thing, I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking your time out to watch the video. I hope that I was as informative as possible and I made you guys feel comfortable with taking on the journey of making your candles whether you're a business owner, whether you just want to find a new hobby, I hope that this video helped you and got you on the path that you need to be to you need to be on to you know be on the straight and narrow with the process. So if you guys um, have not yet, please hit the subscribe button down below, turn on those post notifications, hit that like button, and let me know what you want to see from me next. What would you like for me to show you? you know how to create because i really do enjoy making these videos and i i see i see the comments and i appreciate all of the feedback i love that you guys have been enjoying it and i just want to keep the keep the the momentum going with these videos um or this segment i think i just need to figure out a name for this segment on my channel but i overall like i said i'm glad that you guys have been enjoying it so anyways i am going to call it a night I will see you guys in my next video.